I'm Marissa Voorhees. I'm a caterer, party planner, personal chef, and holistic health coach. Get nourished with catering by Marissa's Kitchen. So today we're making a nopales cactus smoothie. So nopales uh, is cactus, um, and it's well known um, certainly in Mexico um, and in some other parts of Latin America. Now you can buy it in this form. Uh, it's going to be probably your freshest way to do it, but you then will have to take your knife and remove the thorns. Fortunately, in one of my neighborhood markets, the nice thing is if you find a good ethnic market, you're going to be able to find nopales, uh, you're going to be able to find it chopped, uh, and be able to work with it that way. So for making a nopales cactus smoothie, uh, my recommendation is that you saute half a cup of nopales in some agave nectar. Uh, just about a tablespoon of agave nectar and half a cup. Let them saute together. You'll see there's a huge color change between uh, raw nopales, which can be quite bitter and a uh, little bit kind of citrusy when it's raw, and it changes flavor big time uh, when you uh, saute it. So saute it with the um, agave, and then you're gonna make a smoothie now. Now we're gonna use some other traditional uh, Spanish flavors. So we're doing half a cup of horchata. Uh, now horchata is uh, rice milk with cinnamon, and it's already a little bit sweetened. Uh, but if you don't have horchata, can't find it, or don't like it, you can use any milk that you prefer. Uh, we're also gonna do half a cup of vanilla yogurt. I am using an almond milk yogurt. So you're gonna add your sauteed nopales, and I let the uh, agave nectar that it uh, cooked with go in, and half an avocado. And then blend. If you love nopales, keep the smoothie as is. But if you're someone who's uh, not so sure about the flavor of nopales, my recommendation, add half a cup of frozen pineapple to it. It makes a whole lot of difference, and it makes it one that a lot more people, I think, are going to enjoy. Nopales is delicious, but it's definitely an acquired taste. So, enjoy. I'm Marissa Voorhees, the food-sensitive foodie. I hope you make sure you nourish, love, and celebrate today.